You, you can come to me, say anything, direct, even brutal. I mean, say anything and everything you want. You can, you can tell me I, I'm bugging you or that I'm a pain. Okay, you are a pain. <laughs> Do you feel better? <laughs> yes. Okay, I said it, and I'm going to shut up, and I'm going to try and fix everything that's been happening to me, okay? Well, whatever it is that you're going to fix, we're going to do it together. <laughs> ask you something. When did I become your personal little spokesperson, huh? When? Well, who else is there, Dean? Well, I, I mean, you're the only one that believes in me. How am I supposed to change Rachel Corey's mind? How am I gonna do that? I don't know. Spin something up. You're good at that. As it is right now, Rachel thinks I'm too immature to work in the music well, industry. Well, if you stop sneaking around and lying to her face, maybe she'd have a different opinion of you. Well, listen, the guidance counselors gave it a thumbs up, so how hard can it be? Hmm? Maggie Corey! What on earth are you doing here? You're supposed to be home and in bed. Uh, uh it's a long story, but, but Dean will explain it. <laughs> to get better. This proves she isn't stable. Well, we better tell Dr. Bernheimer right away. I'll do that. What? Oh, God. It's a list in her handwriting. Clothes, shoes, money, passport, Stephen's things. She must have been planning this for some time. I wonder she wanted me to buy her clothing. And she fooled both of us. What do you mean? How did she fool you? She asked me for some cash and her purse. Was her passport in the purse? Yes. So you handed her a means of, of escape? Escape? Is she a prisoner here? No, I didn't mean it that way. I mean, way. it never occurred to me that she would try to leave on her own. She just, she said she wanted her makeup. And what else did she say? What, do you think I'm lying? No, I think you'd do anything to help your daughter. Well, obviously she doesn't. She didn't confide any of this to me. As a matter of fact, she accused me of taking your side. She doesn't think I'm on her side. No, Grant, she doesn't. She felt like she was in a cage in this place. Do you know that she was certain that you had blocked her phone and locked her in a room and that little by little you were cutting her off from the rest of the world? That's crazy. Is it? Oh. Well, I told her that she was paranoid and ungrateful and you were taking all of these precautions because you loved her so much. Victoria's never been ungrateful. She was desperate. Then I turned my back on her. Donna, I... I always wanted what was best for her. What you decide is best. It's not the same, you know? Well, you're very smooth, Grant. Boy, you had me buying every word out of your mouth. Now I've lost my daughter's love. Her trust. Maybe my daughter. Uh, Rachel? Rachel, I... I Maggie, to... you are grounded. Grounded means you're to stay at home, and nothing Dean says is going to change that. See? <clears throat> Rachel, I know that, uh, well, Maggie, would, she would, um, yeah. <laughs> I'm kind of in the middle of this. Uh, Rachel, you know that the producers of my album would really like her to sing, really like her to sing. Yes, Maggie tells me that almost daily, uh, Dean. What she didn't tell you was that she spoke to her, her guidance counselor at school. Why would the guidance counselor be interested? Well, I don't know, maybe they left their blinders at home that morning no, or they, something. See, they, they think that it would be a really uh, good learning opportunity for her. And they're actually yeah. willing to give her credit that, uh, down at the school as long as she documents everything. Yeah, pretty nifty, huh? You were able to get the administration and your teachers to agree to that? Yeah, and you're the last holdout. 
Well, I have underestimated your bargaining skills, young lady. <laughs> well, like my mother says, you know, if you want something, don't let a little word like no stand in your way. You would do better to not quote Cecile to me. Uh, we figured that, that you probably were pulling the, the plug on this whole thing because you were really nervous and worried about it interfering with her school. But that has been handled because Bay City High has a new progressive approach in education. As opposed to my more stodgy one. Right. And they think that it's really important for you to learn things outside of school instead of sitting in school, being clogged up in the school room. Well, 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 what we neglected to tell you was that they, the school, is going to supervise the, the entire project. Yeah, I even have to do a report, Carol Drag. And, and she can do all of this if you give her your permission. Yes, yeah, so please give me your permission. I, oh, I'll be so happy, please. You have it. Yes! Thank you. Of course, there are going to be some conditions. Like what? I have to wear a radio collar the rest of the time? Oh, good idea, Maggie. No, my conditions have to do with scholastics, getting straight A's in every course. <laughs> like physics and history? Mm -hmm. Are you nuts? Probably. But I just want to see you put your mind to its broadest use, and you've just proved again to me how smart you are. Oh, gross. Honey, the way I see it, you're going to be working very hard to maintain that grade point average. And the rest of the time, you're going to be doing a lot of community service work at the hospital. That'll leave just a little bit of time to spend in the recording studio. And to me, that is the perfectly balanced schedule for a young lady your age. Victoria turned away from me at a time when she needed help the most. She turned away from both of us. Oh, she ran away from you, Grant. You drove her away. How else can you explain this? I think she was confused. <laughs> well, if she is, it's your fault. One minute you tell her that you love her, and the next you go behind her back. You monitor every move she makes. Who wants to live like that? I was trying to keep her safe. Safe from what? Herself? You know, for months, I insisted that you knew what was best for Victoria. That your love was something she could build a life on. Something she could trust. It is. No. No. You never trusted her. All those security people, they're for you, not for her. No, that's not true. When Victoria told you that she saw Ian, you didn't believe her. You told her that it was all in her mind. Her mind playing tricks on her. You forced her to go to Ryan. God. It always comes back to Ryan. Well, that is because you are never there when she needs you. When Stephen was lost, I where were you? I was in session in Washington. Donna, I have tried so hard. I have forgiven her things I never thought I could forgive. I look at her face and I can't turn away. I know that you want to love her. I do love her. Why can't she love me? She's tried. But you are a very possessive man. Nobody can hold Victoria. I warned you that the only way to love her was to let her be free. And you can't do that. But Ryan can. Well, he already has. He knows that the way to fight for Victoria is to just let her come to him. Well, she came to me tonight. And we were closer than we've ever been. And you didn't sense that something was wrong? No. No, she told me everything I wanted to hear. <laughs> she even told me that she loved me. Finally. For the first time, she was able to say it. And it was a lie. Oh, you don't know that for sure. No. She told me to distract me and quiet my suspicions. What are you so suspicious of? Ryan? I mean, he hasn't been anywhere near here. Oh, he's here. Even when we make love, he's always here. She gave herself to me tonight. But her heart and her mind were planning this escape all along. She must be so desperate to run away from both of us like this. 
why should I ever listen to you? Now Victoria thinks that I'm her enemy, too. Well, I'm not that. I'm not her enemy. I know what's best for Victoria, and it is not Ryan. How can you still say that? She is doing everything she can to get away from you. Maybe I try too hard to make life perfect for her, but she'll see that, and she'll come back to me. She will come back to me. I'll find her. And I'll convince her that we belong together. Because I love her. I love her more than my own life.